Okay. Hey guys, Kaylin here, and I thought I would do a little video on the next page. I thought it was a good one since there's a lot of feels to it. But yeah, so basically I start out with the the panel work, uh, which is just a layer that has a stroke on it. Uh, so edit that to make the boxes, and then I go and do the rough work to get like the overall feel of the whole page. And keep it really loose. And then once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to go over with the line work, which is always um, my least favorite part. Uh, I think the rough work is always my favorite. You keep it really loose and it's really fun and expressions come out and all that. Um, line work is a little more, you know, grating. And here, I actually copied and pasted. I'm not above that, the whole copying and pasting from frame to frame. I, I love the, the subtle differences between frame to frame, um, like the change in expression. You know, him, his hand reaching out to her. I went to school for animation, so I have that storyboarding process in the back of my brain. And I just love the subtleness of, um, you know, the frame to frame. As well as, you know, it creates a moment of quietness. I, I'm a sucker for quietness, and I, I just love the, I just love telling the story through expression. As you can see. Uh, Korik, I actually, you know, you saw that I colored him pretty early on. Korik's always a little difficult. You know, I do the the line work, and then I do the hair layer on top of it, and then I actually have a layer of hair underneath the line work, which I call back hair, which is just glorious. And so I color, I color him pretty early on so that back hair layer doesn't look funky. I've obviously sped this up. This is 20 times as fast as I am drawing. Because I'm not that good. Poor Cora got her sad expression. Which I I have worked so hard on this expression. For some reason, I just couldn't get him to look right. I even turned off the recording and like redrew that over and over again to get it right. And I still... <laughs> I still couldn't get it right. Uh, I ended up just using this line work in the end, and uh, I, I'm okay. I mean, it's it, I'm not terribly happy with it, but um, you know, there's just a certain point in the drawing that you just have to let it go. <laughs> so yeah, I just cut out a big chunk because that was me redrawing it over and over again. And then when I get to a point where I can't draw something while I'm doing line work, I will do a separate layer and then do more rough work over it to kind of work out what the problem is. So you saw that his hand was kind of funky, so it was, you know, doodling, you know, drafting, roughing it out more before I put line work on top of it. Hugs are weird, I mean, in real life and in drawing, but mostly drawing, um, well, mostly real life. It's just, you know, the anatomy, you know, two characters coming together where their their arms fall onto each other, you know, how how large or small is she in his arms, like where his arms are gonna land and Yeah, it's it's tough. But fun. Yeah, hey, uh, I I debated on the hug quite a bit. I really wanted to get it just right. And uh, I didn't know like Position-wise, like you know, she lunges at him. So, is she on his lap, <laughs> or you know, how did she land on him? But you know, I was like, oh, let's do a close-up. Let's just get that sweet moment. I mean, he's gone so long without being able to touch anybody. Can you imagine, like, hugging someone for the first time in a long time? It's got to be dramatic. I mean, dang. I've always enjoyed the coloring part to a certain extent. Uh, I do love playing with the colors and the whole color scheme and like the overall look. I just, I love playing with those, but there's some days where I'm just like, ah, coloring. Sometimes it just doesn't come out right and the lighting effects and, and the shading and um, it just 
sometimes it comes together, sometimes it does not. And uh, I'm pretty happy with, you know, the current state of this chapter. The coloring is coming out pretty well. Cork in his green eyes. And then as far as shading goes, I do a layer of multiply, and then it's a light purple gray. And I just go over the colored layer underneath the outline layer, and then I erase to soften the corners and the edges. And then I bring in the screen tone, which I had used quite a bit in the beginning and I haven't used in a while, so. And there it is, the finished result. Oh, so sweet. Well, so sad. Well, I hope this was somewhat useful to you guys. I think I might be doing this more often, so look for it. And thanks for watching. Bye.